Oh, right. Crossing the Pyrenees. Oh boy, I hate this one. Let's do it! 732 AD, year 110 of the Hajira. After many years, our people have finally found another glorious leader to follow. Seeking vengeance for the defeat of our armies at the hands of the Franks over ten years before, Abed Rahman Utafiki has rallied our armies for another campaign. Bred on the battlefield, El Tafiki is no stranger to the ways of war. In addition to successful forays against the Visigoth, Asturians and Franks, his most recent exploit was the quelling of a rebellion by the Berber governor in Catalonia. To reach the land of the Franks, we must make a dangerous crossing of the Pyrenees. To arrive at the other side in time for spring, we will be forced to start this journey in the dead of winter. The rugged terrain is difficult for armies to cross, and our enemies will surely seek to hinder our passage. Many men will not survive the journey. I grow old, but I will make this journey through the frigid mountains so that I might see another year of conquest. All right, so, Abder al-Rahman al-Kafiki, 15 of your men and at least one supply cart must reach the Umayyad camp north of the Pyrenees. Uh, navigating the terrain of the Pyrenees is difficult. Enemy fortresses are impregnable. We can't research upgrades. Yes, we can. Protect our range units. Yep. And the stupid, stupid cliff passes. Okay, so the army of Abd al-Rahman al-Kafiki has assembled near Lava village just south of the Pyrenees. You have to cross the tre treacherous region, uh, rendezvous with the Umayyads to the north. Uh, a few local villages, they'll help us out a little bit. Um, the Asturians are in the center of the map, the Visigoths to the east, and the Basques to the west. The passes through the Pyrenees are treacherous and crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey ahead of you. Brace yourselves for frigid winds and be wary of enemy ambushes. We must reach the Allied camp on the other side of the mountains before the cold of winter claims us all. Luxa. That we gotta do. Anyway, we're gonna do the good old cavalry on one hotkey, infantry on another hotkey, and the trade carts on uh, another one. So this one's really hard, guys. Um, as you can see, the, we have a huge army. We have post-castle age upgrades, uh, but with all post-imp units. Uh, why are these units all bugging out? Anyway, so you have pretty much two ways of going about the scenario. You can go the uh, Visigoth way or the Basque way, and we're going to go the Basque way because I'm pretty sure it's the easier one. And the scenario is plenty hard enough as is. Without making our lives needlessly more difficult. And we're going to send in our infantry first, try and preserve our cavalry. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that will be made clear in a little bit. Essentially, although we don't get monks, we do get buildings we can garrison. And, and obviously, you can't garrison uh, cavalry. Um, well, I mean, you can in castles and crap posts. But uh, we have one town center and one watchtower. Or will at some point. Anyway, so the Basques are going to be Celts. They will be throwing some variety of infantry and siege at us with a few other scattered sorts of units. Okay, we should be coming up on one of the mountain passes. Uh, 
We are nearing the yep. face of the mountain. Let us traverse this pass quickly, lest the cold wind sap us of our strength. Okay, so this is so annoying. So all of our, while we're in these mountain passes, all our units will constantly be taking damage from uh, you know the harsh elements and all that. It will be at, I think around a similar rate to heroes regening, but obviously in the opposite direction as far as your health bar is concerned. We're just gonna try and blaze through this as fast as humanly possible. Oh shit. We're. Oh god. Why are you guys getting stuck? And another scorpion. Like, like I said, we're literally just trying to freaking blaze through here just to avoid the passive damage. Why are they keep why do they keep stopping? Yeah, where's uh Alga PT? Anyway, he's pretty much our one military unit that isn't going to take any damage. Uh, also, your trade cards don't take any damage. Welcome to our humble village, my lord. Allow our blacksmith to upgrade your weapons. So this village will give you, I guess, uh, bracer, blast furnace, and chemistry. The other one, uh, if you t go the Visigoth way, will give you the defense upgrades. I think the attack upgrades are going to be a bit more useful here. Although, wait. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Alga Fiki doesn't benefit from them. That's rather unfortunate. Anyway, any of those infantry units that survive the journey, we can have them heal up in the town, in the town center and that watchtower. Which shall be very important. But we still have one more mountain pass we have to deal with. The main road to the southeast is guarded by two enemy fortresses. We must take the mountain pass to the northeast. That we gotta do. Perfect, 15 units made it. Just enough to garrison the town center and the tower. But you can see how low all of these units are. Oh yeah, here's the other one. God, these guys are all so low. Anyway, uh, we're going to benefit from the fact that Berbers have herbal medicine. Fog champ. Just send these cavalier to take out the watchtower. Sorry, Ornlu A needs a drink of water. Anyway, while those guys are all healing up, I remember there being a mangonel here that's like really annoying. So we're gonna go ahead and right here. Yeah! Ornlu A memory. Same plan as before, but this time we'll be benefiting from the plus four attack upgrades, which is going to be quite handy. Isn't there like a, another man? Wait, is there? No oh, it's a scorpion. 
And of course, although these guys don't have any blacksmith upgrades, uh, they do have just halberdiers, which are really annoying. Hello. We have braved that horrid mountain pass. Onwards. Oh god, remember, we need to have El Gafiki, 15 troops, and at least one trade cart make it. And we're only at 48 pop left, and these guys are all really low. Alright, once we take care of these guys, uh, we'll have to deal with a huge-ass Asturian army. And they have, I believe, post-imp upgrades. So we're gonna need our infantry for that. We're just going to turn on super speed. There's no time limit for this scenario. I wonder if herbal medicine... Does it affect it, units that are in allied buildings? I don't actually know. Because these guys seem to be healing really slowly. Like, this is on times 8 speed. Yeah, whatever. I need it hot of course. Okay. Just speed this up again. Because it's literally just walking from point A to point B. In case you guys don't know how to speed up and slow down the game, um, it's not something that's like immediately available, but if you set the launch options to like debug speed or whatever, you are able to, uh, get up to times 8 speed, like on HD. That's how I got a lot of the achievements, was benefiting from stuff like that. I mean, it's not like it's cheating, it's just saving time. You know, every unit matters right now. Not having that champion, because he got stuck, is really annoying. Oh boy, we're really running low on units. Oh, here. Hopefully there aren't too many soldiers left here. Also, this is not the last group. There's still another huge army we need to fight. Well, it's not as big as this one, but it's still another army we need to fight. Yeah, these guys are post -imp. Okay, I think we got the camp here. Anyone else on this side? Nope. Perfect. Okay, so we have 22, or I guess 21, because I don't think El Gaviki counts as a military. So we need to lose less than six units. This is not the final attack. This is just whatever. Okay, here's what we're going to need to do. We're going to try and, like, debate individual units. Because none of the AIs have AIs. Press forward and fight bravely. 
Oh, if I can have them just focusing on Algafiki, that'd be great. But that isn't the case. Our army has all but perished. Alas, that I should lead my men to such destruction. Wait, did I loot? I had to kill five more units. And then I would have won. All right. Guess we just need to have better micro. Crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey ahead of you. Brace yourselves for frigid winds and be wary of enemy ambushes. Yeah. Well, the frigid winds are a lot more annoying than any enemy they throw at you. The winter claims us all. Guess we just didn't have good enough micro or something. Anyway, same same plan. Send the infantry forward here. Save the cavalry for the mountain passes. Wait, why are these guys not doing anything? Please torch the tower. We are nearing the open face of the mountain. Let us traverse this pass quickly, lest the cold winds sap us of our strength. That we will do. Hmm. Idea? What if we send Al Gafiki in and just bait them all out of the mountain passes? Where's Al Gafiki? He is stuck. I wonder if I can do that. Because you can see he takes a little bit of damage, but he then he just heals it back up. He really isn't that tanky, though. He only has 190 HP and 3 pierce armor. Doesn't seem to have any bonus damage versus Halbs. Why did I not think of this sooner? Continue our campaign now. Oh my god. <sighs> the passes through the Pyrenees 
are treacherous and crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey ahead of you. Brace yourselves for frigid winds and be wary of enemy ambushes. We must reach the Allied camp on the other side of the mountains before the cold of winter claims us all. If only he didn't get stuck. And to a bunch of halves. Why, why are these guys keep, keep on stopping? No, don't, don't stop. Move. These guys keep on getting stuck. It's really annoying. The Storian fortress lies just ahead. We do not have the means to capture it. We should turn around. Okay. Again, send the infantry forward. And this isn't even the hardest scenario in this campaign. That's that's the last one, the next one. We'll, we'll, we'll just get to that, I guess, when we get to that. Look, like these guys keep on stopping. Okay. Now what we're going to do this time is we're going to save the cavalry even more because really it's just a bunch of halves and shit running at us. We are nearing the open face of the mountain. Let us traverse this pass quickly. And also not lose all Gafiki this time. How's that Magnus still alive? Are you shitting me? Our glorious leader, Allah save him, is dead. How can we go? The passes through the Pyrenees are treacherous and crawling with enemy troops. You have a long and trying journey to hide me. Brace yourselves for frigid winds and be wary of If he could not get stuck, like once, that'd be great. Call the winter claims us all. I promise you, I've beaten the scenario on hard before. <sighs> no attack, please. 
Attack, please. Remember, everybody, this campaign is an easy campaign. This campaign is as easy as Attila the Hun. Triple careful to not use uh, Al-Gafiki. All I want in life is to boom a man. We are nearing the open face of the mountain. Really? Let us traverse this pass quickly, lest the cold wind sap us of our strength. Not gonna lose him. Not going to lose him. Again. Oh, the Meganel came down too, that's nice. Maybe it will chase me. Hey, idiots, attack me! Catch me if you can! Oh! Let's see if anyone else is coming. It's over, Anakin! I have to take into account the faster fire rate of Kelt Mangonels when micro against them here. It's amazing what a little bit of not being an idiot can do for you. Just a little bit.
Wish he had Genitor Pierce Armor, though. It's taking a lot of damage. And he's not really healing it up because we're in the Mountain Pass. There we go. Are we just going to be able to clear this entire thing with uh, Algafiki? Maybe not. Maybe not. Freaking zoomy zoom pajam pajama Sam. I think we can send in the rest of the cavalry now. Like we defeated almost all the uh, the bad guys. Something went spazzy there. There we go. We'll start our infantry through as well at this point. Okay, yeah, these guys are all at much better HP. Welcome to our humble village, my lord. Allow our blacksmith to upgrade your weapons. I'll take it. Send in the trade cards last so they don't bunch up with the uh, infantry units. Scottish outpost. You know what to do. Lock it down. Rip old Il uh, William Wallace narrator, man. The main road to the southeast is guarded by two enemy fortresses. You must take the mountain pass to the northeast. Well, it's going to be the same plan here and just abuse uh, the fact that we have Another a hero unit. cliffside pass. Pray to Allah that it is the last. Oh crap, no, I need to heal these guys up. Oh, and now there are more of them alive, so now there's more murder. More time I'm going to need uh, to be super speeding. Whatever. Well, I won't super speed until I have to. There's still plenty of stuff I can do here. Run away! So much focus. It's 
more focused than uh, playing the original Bari 2. That scenario is such a nightmare. We'll get to Bari soon. I forget if Bari's next or Yodit's next. One of the two. And then it's, you know, the other one. How are these guys doing? They're still healing. Definitely need to turn on super speed once I get these guys to the other side, because I'm not going to engage the Astorian camp without them. These guys are still a little low HP for my like, but what we have braved that horrid mountain pass. Onwards. Yeah, I'd much rather have the attack upgrades from this side than going the other way and getting the defense upgrades. Because as the hint said, your the value of range units increases exponentially. Oh, no, 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 we've already aggroed some of them. That was not the plan! That was not the plan. Oh, wait, I'll go Fiki. No, 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 you are not dying. Okay. How are these guys doing? More or less healed up. Whatever. Move! Still turn it up to a times eight speed while they just play walking simulator. See the yellow blob move across the map. Man, those trade cards are fast. Okay, with 73 pop going into this. I th it's better than like the 40 something we had the last time. I can just actually take this fight legitimately. Like a normal Age of Empires battle. How have I never realized the bait them out of the mountain pass strategy before? Like, I've beaten this a, a few times on hard. And of course, some of you guys probably realize that from the very beginning. Oh, this is going so much better. Just had to do that strategy and not pointlessly lose Al Gafiki. Just a bit better, no?
Let's get our trade cards get here. We should win. We have braved the cruel Yay. Let us make camp, eat, rest, and then continue our conquests. Good work, men. Easy game. Wasn't remotely challenging. Anyway, here's the other path you could take to go through the Visigoths if you want to go try this one. I think it's a bit harder. If if the Oh, also, you probably can't garrison units as easily. Forgot about that. They only you can probably you probably can't access this watchtower, so you can probably only heal in this one watchtower. Kind of annoying. So yeah, you gotta fight through this. You can see that this is all one mountain pass. Like, look at this. This is why you don't take this pass, guys. Because I think the mountain pass starts here. And you have to go all the way through here. And then you got like one and a half more camps, and then you have the Astorian camp. Also, these are the uh, these are the fortresses that you are not supposed to attack. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend attacking these ones, guys. Truly, I have not endured such a trying journey in the entirety of my life. Me neither, man. The cold and cruel winds were like nothing I have ever experienced. Tell me about it. And the fear of enemy ambushes lurking behind every bend is enough to drive a man mad. Between the elements and enemy blades, Many of our men perished on the crossing. Nevertheless, we arrived in considerable force on the other side. It is more than many hope for. We have little time to rest and recover our strength. The Franks will not lie waiting forever. Oh boy, is that true. <sighs> anyway, here are the achievements. Pretty good kill-death ratio, pretty good. I mean, it was, it was you know, it was all right. And that was crossing the Pyrenees. Next will be the even harder scenario in this one sword difficulty campaign, the Razzia. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.